Welcome back. It's time for Potentially Yours as Lisa Bernard with the Dane County Humane Society is joining us with a couple of furry friends. Lisa, hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Who are these fellas? We've got our hands filled yes, with, we do. with uh, yam here. And this is, oh no. Honey, I just blanked out her name. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, but they're very, very sweet, very cuddly. Um, she failed to grow a tail. So uh, uh, she's doing great. Um, they were brought to us because they were part of a, another cat had had some babies and they were still unweaned, so they needed to go into foster. And they were in the same litter. They were in the same litter. So uh, one of our foster families was uh, <laughs> giving, providing for them like a mother would uh, with milk and waking up multiple times throughout the night to provide for them uh, until they're ready to find their new their new family and they're ready now. They are They've ready. They're super playful. Very playful. They do get snuggly and they do <laughs> chill out. And they um, like toys the way it looks too. Sprout. Sprout. Because she failed to sprout a tail. Which is different. I've never seen very. a cat without a tail before. Yes. So you can see there's... Makes just, her special. It does. They're both very special in their own way. So what kind of like family do you think would fit well for them? I think any family who's willing to uh, help them learn. Uh, right now they are learning that toys are appropriate, not <laughs> fingers. So, because right now anything that's moving is fun to play with, but we want them to play with toys because yes. we don't want biting fingers. And then they'll need to learn where are appropriate areas to scratch, like scratching posts. Uh, and they're doing well on litter box usage. So, um, so, uh, and just, you know, play, play time. I they want a family to play with and who's going to snuggle with them when they're tired. And uh, I believe Sprout's the one who likes to sleep like right here. Right on up your there. Chest. Yeah, so. Well, DCHS's Camp Paw Print is holding its last uh, spring camp tomorrow, and there are still spots available. The theme is Animal Advocates. Campers ages 7 through 12 can enjoy animal related lessons, interact with a variety of classroom animals, complete service projects in arts and crafts, and have fun with other animal lovers. Uh, Tux the Dog, featured last week, has not been adopted, but he also is not available at this time. And Nix the Cat, featured the week before, is still available for adoption. Option. So if you're interested in adopting Yammer Sprout or checking out other animals, you can go to dchsgiveshelter.org. Lisa, thank you so much. Let's thank get these you. kitties adopted. Yes.